Hi, this is Julian. I want to demonstrate MIDI live mode as introduced in Pro Tools 2025.6. It can be a little bit confusing to get your head around if you just read about it, but if you see it working, it's actually pretty simple. So what I've got in this session is I've got a loop and I want to play some MIDI in time with that loop. I'll play it in live off this MIDI controller. I've got two playlists set up already. This is MIDI live mode off. So if we go to options, we'll see that MIDI live mode is off. So we'll just uh, record. And that'll do. Next, I'll just swap on to MIDI live mode on, pop up here, switch MIDI live mode on. Same again. And then if we compare these two, we hopefully will see something quite interesting. It does, of course, depend on how accurate my playing was. But if we zoom in and look at these against the beat, we'll see a real difference, and it's a consistent difference across these. This one here off, these hits are all slightly ahead of the beat. Now, my playing frankly was a pretty bit off on here and I'm slightly behind the beat but it's that difference that's really important exactly why that is is because well some people are saying it's about delay compensation it isn't about delay compensation delay compensation compensates for delays introduced by plug-in processing this is about buffer latency so if we go in here and we go to playback engine we'll see that my buffer is set to 1024 samples worst case scenario and because of that, when I'm playing with MIDI live mode off, what's going to happen is that I'm going to be naturally playing so that what I hear is in time. So the tendency is for people playing live to play slightly ahead of the beat. You compensate naturally. And if you try this, you'll see that you probably kind of, kind of tune into the correct timing over the first bar or so. But we compensate naturally for that from, based on what we hear. Easy way to check this is just mute the track and just hit the pad and you'll notice that your timing's probably better because you're going off the acoustic sound of your finger hitting the, the pad. If you switch MIDI live mode on, what you hear is what you get and that compensation for latency that Pro Tools automatically does in the background that you probably wouldn't notice otherwise gets switched off. It's a special case. It's a simple little feature. And the point is that uh, if you're doing this specific task of playing live, might help you but uh, if you're using say an ex internal sequencer within an, an instrument or an arpeggiator or something like that you actually want the legacy behavior so i hope that helps <laughs>